today I'm reviewing the Skin Food Royal Honey Propolis Essence. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com. Check my Patreon community or click on the link below. And I've got a new Patreon, Sinead, and I found this little glow worm. It reminded me of a glow worm. Do you guys remember those uh, light bright things when you're little? And you like stuck the pegs and you make decorations. That's what this reminded me of. But I just remember those things were so expensive. My parents wouldn't buy me one. I also really wanted a Teddy Ruxpin. They would not get me that either. But I got my picture of Teddy Ruxpin. But no Teddy Ruxpin. He was too expensive. So anyway. Here we go. I think I'm going to put this guy right here. Right in the front. In front of the ghost. Which I thought was a snowman. There we go. Okay. So finally get a chance to review this one. Uh, it's a good product. So overall, I like it. So they call this a fully nutritious essence that contains 63% black bee propolis extract, 10% royal jelly extract, and 10% black honey extract to build a firm barrier and radiant moist skin. I'm not exactly certain that these different varieties are any better than another variety, but that's kind of their marketing. So anyway, overall, okay. Overall, yeah, they're fine. Okay, my first criteria is packaging. What I like about the packaging, the gold top, I can always find this in my collection. I know that's kind of stupid, but I like the fact that I can find this one. That's it. And I like the glass bottle. It looks fancy and it's all recyclable, which is even better. Uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, there's none of those. There's also no fragrance, no fragrance ingredients, and no real scent with this. So great for sensitive skin. Uh, the manufacturing location for this one is Korea. By the way, I will mention different sites for this have very different prices. So if you go to like Skin Foods website, I think it's $40. If you go to like Yes Style, it's like $20. If you go to uh, Jolsey, it's like $17. So if you're going to pick this up, just do a little bit of clicking before you pull the trigger officially because prices are all over the board with this. So, okay, so ease of use. So they recommend after toning, use the dropper to dispense and apply product all over skin in a circular motion. I have not ever heard that circular makes any difference, but there we go. I'll do it circularly. Um, and then they recommend patting until it's fully absorbed. I tend to use this as an extra product. I tend to add it in the winter and fall, and I don't take anything else out. I just add it in as an extra product for some extra moisture, kind of like I do an extra layer of like a sleeping mask or an oil. Um, so I apply this before uh, serums and after my toner and applies nicely. It does take a little bit of time to fully absorb, but I love the fact that I can just add this in as an extra layer without having to change anything or take anything else out. It's really great for that. So it just gives my skin some extra hydration. That, that's what makes it wonderful. So I do not use this in my morning routine at all, but my evening routine is when I tend to do it because I can add an extra layer in. And even if it doesn't look great with 10 layers of product, I don't care because the only people that see me are cameraman Lincoln and Ike. So there we go. Uh, layers well with other products, no issues at all with pilling or anything like that. Okay, so antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. So we've got propolis extract, which we talked about. Skin conditioning ingredient, hydrating ingredient, also has some anti-inflammatory properties, as well as skin protecting properties, and also has been shown to help uh, healing wounds, cuts, uh, also can potentially help acne prone skin. So if you have skin that's prone to acne, I think propolis is an ingredient worth checking out, adding it into your routine, and trying it, because it does have nice anti-inflammatory properties um, and protecting properties. Okay, honey extract. Honey is probably one of the oldest skincare ingredients that exist. Yeah, honey is it. Uh, it's one of the oldest ones. It has some nice moisturizing properties. It's got soothing properties. It also has some antibacterial properties. Um, so honey is a great component is a great uh, ingredient that with components of proteins, amino acids, vitamins, enzymes, and minerals. So honey is a great one. Another good one for acne prone skin because of its antimicrobial uh, benefits. So well worth checking out and potentially adding into your teen. Then we've got royal jelly extract. Royal jelly, it's in a lot of products. It's talked about like it's this great ingredient, but it's a fine ingredient. There's nothing wrong with it. It's hydrating, but there's really no other benefits other than hydrating and moisturizing. So there you go. It's not a bad ingredient. It's just not, it's not at all what they make it up to be. So I think honey should be talked about more than 
this royal jelly. But anyway. Then we've got purslane extract, which is a good antioxidant, soothing, and wound healing uh, properties. We've also got beta-glucan, uh, soothing ingredient, humectant, antioxidant, hydrating, uh, also has wound healing and repairing properties, and also has potential anti-aging benefits, which I think more research probably needs to be done on that. Uh, we've got lactobacillus ferment, which is hydrating and soothing. We've got saccharomyces ferment, another good hydrating ingredient. We've got dun 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 sodium hyaluronic because it has to be in every freaking product, humectant, and then arginine, which is a good skin identical ingredient. So a really nice uh, list of good antioxidants, hydrating ingredients, soothing ingredients. So very good job. Uh, in terms of animal testing, as far as I can tell, skin food is not cruelty free. So perhaps, hopefully that will change at some point. Uh, in terms of performance, this one is really nice. It adds some nice hydrating as well as soothing benefits. Uh, so my hand already looks 10 times younger, right? Than my other hand. <laughs> anyway, also helps with inflammation, redness. Um, and then in terms of acne prone skin, this is even better. In terms of acne jelly ingredients, there's only one of mention, which is carbomer, which is pretty far down the ingredient list. So that's even better. Uh, in terms of the price, like I mentioned, it's all over the place. Tens, the average, I would say the average is around $30 but you can usually find it for 20 or around that. So check it out. How many milliliters is this? I didn't even write it down. I don't even know if it says. 50 milliliters, so 1.7 ounces. Uh, in terms of the it factor, I really like this one. If this were cruelty free, it would have got a 10 out of 10. I love this. It adds some nice hydration without messing anything else up in my routine. I can add it in without taking anything else out. Helps my hydrate my skin. Great for acne prone skin. And just really nice that I can just add this in and gives my skin some extra hydration. So too bad it's not cruelty free because this could have got a 10 out of 10, but instead it gets a nine out of 10. Maybe sometime next time I look at this brand, maybe they'll be cruelty free, we'll see. But anyway, overall a good product. I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try this one out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, so I'll leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye guys.